Holy smackin'. Oh, I don't cuss anymore. What is that, Auntie? Is that for real? Oh, yeah. And I'm never, ever, ever, ever throwing it away. Let's talk. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Up and Adam, Adam Ant. <laughs> That's what my parents used to say. Up and Adam, Adam Ant. Who's Adam Ant? It was a band. But I don't think that... My parents were long before the band. Who's Adam Ant? Well, I don't know who he is, but I am up at it just like Adam Ant. In fact, I have been up and at it since about five. And you guys, I gotta, I'm going to be very vulnerable with you right now. As a lot of you guys know, <laughs> since I was a little girl, guys, I have this crippling level of compassion. I do. I do. For people, oh, for loved ones, for animals. Oh, oof. But it goes beyond that. It does. I have a crippling level of compassion. And I found out I'm not alone. I always thought my whole life I was the only one like this. But um, for inanimate objects. I do. I do. <laughs> Story time the other day, me and my son and my mom and dad and my husband were at Costco in Boise. And I bought my cinnamon bears. I love cinnamon bears. And I was sitting in the front seat of the truck. We were about to get out of, at Costco. And I've raised such a good young man. He got out and got to the my side of the truck and opened the door to help his little limited health. Ugh, me, because I have a bad neck and a bad... Anyways, I was eating a cinnamon berry. He said, Mom, can I have a few? I said, absolutely. I didn't. I said, no. No, I of course said yes. <laughs> when we share because we care, the cinnamon bear. Oh, that's cute. Anyways, as I was handing him some, one fell on the floor, on the pavement, and it went under the truck. And Michael, I was like, oh. And he goes, he just looked at me because he knew. He said, you better get his friend, huh? I said, yeah, I better. <laughs> so I grabbed one of the cinnamon bears out of the container and I got out of the truck and I said, here you go, buddy. Here, here's your friend. <laughs> I could not leave that cinnamon bear there alone. He had to have a buddy. That's what I'm talking about. And my son, who's almost 30 years old, he knew instantly the second that bear hit the pavement, exactly what mom had to do. <laughs> Look, there are far worse things to be in this world than too compassionate. But it is kind of cute. He knew instantly. It happens every day. Um, for instance, Q-tips. I use Q-tips to remove all of the mascara from my eyelids because I got curly, curly eyelashes. And I cannot throw one Q-tip away. Well, I use a lot of my eyelashes. But um, no, I can't. There always has to be one going with them, even if it's not used. I know. I just don't want to see anything hurt, sad, or alone. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting all teary-eyed over some Q-tips I've thrown away. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. But I gotta tell you guys something this morning. It's so funny. I came into my bath. Oh, there's another thing I need to tell you first. Um, I lost almost everything when I was a single mom in 2005 to a house fire. Me and my boys. Thankfully, 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 by the grace of God, we were not home when it happened. Anyways, um... After you lose everything in a fire, basically, outside of the clothes at your mom's house... Um, there, something happens to you. You start seeing things differently. You start looking at things differently. When you lose all of your photo, everything, everything from your children's lives before you lose everything, you see things differently. And then put that on top of the old crippling <laughs> compassion for inanimate objects. Oh, that is a good recipe for something bad. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Um, it is very difficult for me to throw things away. It is, which is a problem too, because now you got to add in the fact that I like to shop. Oh, I'm an online shopping. Woo, I stretch before I start. My niece always just is in awe that I have my credit card number memorized. <laughs> but there is something in me recently that is just saying, get rid of it all. Just get rid of it all. These are just things. This is just possessions. And I'm going to, and I am, and I have been, and it feels really good. You know, when you give yourself and your whole life and your heart and everything to the Lord, you realize this isn't, none of this is important. None of this really actually brings me joy. And why am I desperately trying to hang on to something that I haven't used in six months? Okay, maybe five years. <laughs> but anyways, I came into my bathroom this morning at five. I was going to be waxing my face last night, but instead I went to bed. So I came in here this morning. Do y'all want to tell me why it is I was flooded Flooded with nostalgia and memories when I saw this. No, I mean flooded. And I'm here to tell you, I went downstairs and told Uncle Mike, out of nowhere, I'm not ever throwing it away. He was like, 
okay. Well, <laughs> he never told me to. <laughs> but this is one thing I will never be able to throw away. And you want to know why? It. <laughs> it is the absolute reason I have you. Without it, I wouldn't be here. Well, I'd be here in the world, but I don't think I'd be here like this on this platform. This is what started it all, what launched your auntie's tiki tock career. And it is never, ever, ever getting thrown away. But by the looks of it, it's got a lot of years of advice on it. Hold on. Y'all, look at that bad boy. <laughs> no joke. That is the waxer that started it all. One day in 2021, when I was on this app, I don't know why, but I suddenly got the inspiration to wax my face and give 20 year old me advice with every pull of the wax. Starting the trend, things I wish I knew when I was 20 and skyrocketing Auntie's platform. Guys, I look at this thing every week, if not every other week, but this is the first time I've looked at it and I've realized I used to give advice that I can't count the thousands of emails I would get that say, Auntie, you saved my life. Because of you, I didn't unalive myself. I got a job. So today, for the very first time, I'm looking at these different colors. That's a color I used to use a long time ago. Look at, there's all sorts of different times that I've used different wax, but every one of these drops now, I think, potentially could have been that one piece of advice that I had given that might have saved somebody's life. And although now that I'm looking at it, I may want to at least, if I'm not going to get rid of it and keep using it, I may want to at least approach it from the other side because <laughs> this thing looks like it could actually start paying taxes. This thing's getting big. That's a lot of waxing. More so than a lot of waxing. That has been a lot of, a lot of advice. That has been, that has been a lot of advice. I've never looked at it that way before. And I don't think it's humanly possible for me to ever look at it another way again. Because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have you. I love you so much. Oh, y'all, I, <laughs> I gotta share. The video wasn't posted yet, and I came out to clean up my art studio really quick. And I only buy these pencils for the eraser. Ooh, they're the perfect ones. I don't use them, you know, for anything else. Anyways, I was cleaning it up and I was like, well, these bad boys are pretty much, a, yeah, I better throw them away. Y'all want to tell me why it is while I held them in my hand before I threw them in the trash, how I did a, looked at them and said before I threw them away, thank you for your service. <laughs> I meant it. I meant it. Oh, y'all. Well, I guess there's worse traits to have than uh, a crippling level of compassion and respect for inanimate objects, right? <laughs>